Welcome to iCargos, your trusted partner in simplifying international logistics, compliance and certifications. If you are a machinery or electrical equipment manufacturer with a manufacturing facility, this video is essential for you. The Omnibus Technical Regulation 2024 will soon impact your business, making compliance under Scheme X crucial. The Omnibus Technical Regulation 2024 was issued by the Ministry of Heavy Industries on August 28, 2024. This regulation mandates that machinery and electrical equipment sold in India meet stringent safety, performance and environmental standards. If you operate a manufacturing facility, this certification is necessary. From August 28, 2025, compliance will be mandatory, and without the required certification, your products cannot legally enter the market. What is the Omnibus Technical Regulation 2024? The Omnibus Technical Regulation 2024 sets safety and performance standards for a wide range of industrial machinery and electrical equipment including pumps, compressors, cranes, elevators, conveyors, motors, transformers, escalators, electric motors, gearbox, welding machine, power generators and more. The Bureau of Indian Standards BAS is responsible for enforcing these regulations, conducting inspections and certifying products that meet the required safety benchmarks. The goal of this regulation is to standardize safety practices, minimize risks and improve the reliability and efficiency of critical machinery in industries across India. Scope of Scheme X Scheme X applies to products requiring adherence to specific technical expectations outlined in Indian standards. Unlike other BIS schemes, Scheme X provides flexibility for manufacturers to choose between a license for continuous production or a certificate of conformity for batch production. This flexibility benefits industries producing high-quality products intermittently, while ensuring compliance with established standards. Safety Standards under BIS Scheme X Type A – General Principles of Risk Assessment and Risk Reduction Type A standards focus on general safety principles for machinery. They guide how to identify hazards, assess risks, and apply safety measures to reduce those risks. This is about making sure the design and use of machinery are as safe as possible from the start. Products covered under Schedule 1 are industrial robots, conveyor systems, general-purpose machinery example lathes, milling machines. Type B – Specific Standards for Machinery and Equipment Type B standards are product-specific and apply to different types of machinery or electrical equipment. These standards, listed in the second schedule, define the safety features and performance requirements for various machines based on their specific functions and uses. Products covered under Schedule 2 are safety components like interlocks and sensors, electrical equipment such as control panels, emergency stop devices, protective equipment such as light curtains and shields, etc. Type C, specialized safety standards. Type C standards are specialized rules for specific equipment. If Type C standards conflict with Type A or Type B, the Type C standard takes precedence. These standards often include detailed safety markings and instructions to ensure safe operation. Products covered under Schedule 3 are packaging machinery, injection molding machines, cranes and hoists, food processing equipment, example meat slicers, agricultural equipment example harvesters and tractors etc. Eligibility for Scheme X Certification the eligibility criteria for obtaining Scheme X certification. Manufacturing facility. Only manufacturers with a physical manufacturing facility, whether in India or abroad, are eligible. Product scope. The products must fall under the categories regulated by the Omnibus Technical Regulation 2024, such as machinery, compressors, cranes or electrical devices. Compliance with standards. Your products must meet the safety, performance and environmental standards outlined by the BIS. Steps to get certified. Here is how the Scheme X certification process works. Documentation. Prepare and compile all necessary documents including product specifications, compliance details and other technical files. Testing. Whether you are an Indian or a foreign manufacturer, your product must undergo testing at a BIS-approved lab to ensure it meets the required standards. Submission of application. Submit the application form with the test results and supporting documents to BIS through their official portal. Factory visit by BIS officer. A BIS officer will conduct an on-site audit of your manufacturing facility to assess its compliance with the required standards and processes. License approval. Upon successful testing, 
documentation review and factory inspection. BIS will issue the license, allowing you to use the ISI mark on your product. Audit time and process. Typically, audits and testing for Scheme X certification can take around two months for domestic manufacturer and approximately 0.5 to 0.6 months for foreign manufacturer. However, keep in mind that this timeline can vary. Delays, additional testing or documentation issues can extend the process, so it is crucial to be fully prepared to avoid unnecessary delays. Fee structure. To facilitate the certification process, manufacturers must adhere to the following fee structure in addition to the service charges by iCargos. Application fee for grant of license, 2,000 Indian rupees. Application fee for grant of certificate of conformity, 2,000 Indian rupees. Certification fee for grant of license or renewal of license, 25,000 Indian rupees per year. Certification fee for grant of certificate of conformity, 10,000 Indian rupees. Fee for review of technical file for grant of license or certificate of conformity or change in scope of license, 20,000 Indian rupees per technical file. Inspection fees including surveillance for any site, visit 20,000 Indian rupees per mandate. Sample procurement charges on actuals. Testing charges on actuals. Note 1. All fees must be paid in advance. 1. Manufacturers situated outside the territory of India shall bear all expenses, including the cost to the Bureau of the Days spent by its certification officers during inspection, audit or evaluation at the manufacturing facility, testing laboratory or any other premises. 1. Please obtain a quote from iCargo's office specific to your requirement. Quality control order and penalties. The regulation is backed by a quality control order, which ensures that every product meets the required safety standards. Failing to comply could result in penalties, market bans or even product recalls, making it essential to start the certification process well in advance. Deadline to act. You have until August 28, 2025 to comply with this regulation. The earlier you begin the certification process, it would be better to ensure your products remain market ready without disruption. Contact us for help. Need help navigating this process? iCargos is here to guide you on every step of the way. Contact us today on contact us at iCargos.com, phone plus 9198118031360, website www.icargos.com. Stay informed and compliant with iCargos for more insights and updates.